Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we get serious, okay? I bought a standing desk and I'm standing. I'm standing in gaming. I'm standing and playing arena, you know, sometimes I sit down, I play too long, I record, I edit, and I just want to stand. So what do we pick to be the most serious? Boros Angels. Why? I don't know, because I felt like it today, okay? We get to do a lot of cool stuff today. I think we get to really see Giada's value and what it can bring to the table when it comes to actually playing an angel style deck. Whenever we are playing it for two, playing a Steel Seraph on three, making it a four, four, which it also keeps its ability. So it's getting a lot bigger. I think there's a game where we have Resplendent Angel get a lot of value from the Giada later on and other things like that. And Archangel being able to play it a little bit early and use it as a removal spell, but also a life linker on the pack end is so, so nice in this list. Outside of that, we're going to go ahead and hop into the games. I know Thunder Junction is coming out soon, at least for early access people. I currently don't have access to it. I think I applied in the place I'm supposed to. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Maybe I applied in the wrong place, but who knows? But yeah, we get serious today. We start standing and we start having a good time. If my mic is a little weird standing, I've not done this before. So pardon that if it's really bad, but outside of that, let's just go ahead and get into the games. Hope you all enjoy them and let's get out there and play. Oh, uh, huh? It's like fun. I mean, everything's pretty much castable. We got kind of defense go we're chilling okay we're black feel less comfortable with my hand considering it's all takeable that's probably not but deep cavern bats annoying liliana's annoying there's a lot of things that are kind of annoying with this hand we play another basic instead of playing the courtyard, so all of our spells are available. Did they miss? I mean, fire that off. Be efficient with our mana. It doesn't look like doesn't look like we might have a lot coming down the pipeline if I don't rip a land here. Are we both going to stare at each other? Nope. I'm going to progress. I'll just play this, I guess. A hard cast. They'll get hit with the go for the throw. They're going to have some spells. They haven't hit a land in two turns. Now, the best thing is if we get the two for one of them. Or do that. I was thinking like Bitter Triumph, maybe. Sure. We hit another land. Archangel is best to play. Might just take the Lightning Helix off principle, but hitting a land here actually is way better for us. And now we can play this, kick it once. And shoot this bat down and get our helix back anyway, but also put a threat in play. And yeah, so it takes. I mean, realistically, I get it from their situation of how frustrating it is because like they're missing land drops, and obviously that deep cavern bat was their draw for turn because they didn't play anything for a couple turns. But I can definitely see it being super frustrating for them. But I think they were actually not in that bad of a spot. Of course, my hand's playable now. But if I just hit a couple of lands in a row and they deal with what's on board and they hit a couple of lands, like they're favored to win that game. They have way more action in hand than I do. Who's was first. Not like a poses hand, it's a little bit slow. But I'm gonna keep, I have two lightning strikes. The reason it's slow is because these lands entering tapped. Excited for fast lands. Yeah, are we ready for them? Get Kamanoed. I'll play this and then I'll play a planes and lightning strike. This two mana three three. The Felden, that's worst case scenario, but sometimes we just have to deal with what we have to deal with. Ooh, it's just picnic. It is picnic. Thankfully we have the answer right away. Our hand didn't pan out quite the way it was going to. Without this lightning strike here, we're pretty much losing that game. So it's kind of nice to escape from that hand a little bit. What you got for me, opponent? Yeah, it's your turn. You need the timer to remind you that. Blue spear, sure. I mean, the Swiss spear. I mean, it doesn't matter with ancestral anger, at least. I am tapped out. Indeed. Giada's cool. I'd love to play Giada because then it would just kind of have it right into my Archangel. Wouldn't allow me to kick it though, would it? No, Red's one of the kicks. I would be able to. Then I have a 4-5 Lifelinker held back. 
What's like the fear of just playing this and then lightning striking something? Oh boy. Gotta, you are most likely not gonna live, but I'm gonna go for the high roll play here. I feel like I have to. I think just lightning striking one of these, especially if that was protection. He's just like losing, waiting to happen. happen. But if I can play this planes, keep Giada in play, sundown pass, attack with Giada, and then Archangel plus kick it, making it a four five life linker that also removed a threat. I feel like it's just really good. We're actually getting maybe a setup turn here. Swiss spear plus audacity. We're actually going to get away from this hand. That's wild. Seven, eight, nine. I mean, I have to take it. My play does nothing if I don't back it up with what I want. It's here. Not a fan of having to kill the audacity one, but I think I have to. Because it starts off with so much more power already. I don't think the one card draw is going to make or break. It could. Now I have a 4-5 lifelinker. It does get destroyed by a witch stalker frenzy. We do have to be careful of that. Although I guess I can't control that. There's not really a whole lot to be careful with if it's not something I can maintain myself. But best play is what? Probably play land, steal Seraph, give Archangel Vigilance. If it's around after this turn, attack, gain four, lightning strike something. I think that makes sense. That makes sense in general. Because Steel Seraph even played on three mana is actually going to be a 4-4 four, four, thanks to Giada. Actually, it's going to be a 5-5 five, five, thanks to Giada. So it's not even like paying the three mana is going to make it significantly worse. It's going to be actually better at the five mana or the three mana slot than if we played it six generically without a Giada in play. That's kind of absurd to think about. The timeout used. I'll wait until they come back if they come back. All right, they're here. It tanked all that time to do this. Block this one. I think it's worth blocking. Yeah. What was the tank for? The salty boy for like no reason whatsoever. I mean, that's fine. You're allowed to be, I guess. It's just like a weird thing to be salty over, I think. Especially when, like, it worked out fine for you. I don't know. Right here. Life link. Yes. I would just hold up his lightning strike. And they're pretty close to being within lethal. Here more I draw a card. got for me opponent a long tank and then do something again nope good on that we'll cancel we'll cancel their card draw while also getting the scamper off the battlefield so we don't get shot by it for a ton just the last card in hand do you got opponent the deal now are we gonna see the salt off is our uh, heroic deck gamer not having a good time? All right, they make a decision. Right as their timeout about went away, no surprise here. Uh, yeah, that's fine with me. What a wild draw that was. Let's uh, let's play this. I'll give you lifelink. You seem good enough to have lifelink. Enough for lethal too. Sweet. Get out of the game. Bro tried to hold us prisoner a couple times, but regardless, we get through it. We take the dub home. Very cool. All right, we go first. Our hand's a little slow. But being first makes it kind of okay, I think. Hopefully we just draw something like a lightning strike or a helix in between here and the rest of my hand. 
I'll take another land too. I'll take a lot. I'm asking for a lot, but I need a lot in this hand. But I, it's kind of hard to look at a two drop or a three drop to a four drop to a five drop to a six drop. Like it's very hard to look at that and just be like, no, especially when we're on the play. If we we're on the draw, I'd probably throw it back. Oh gosh. Oh, we found the helix. There was a time to draw it right there. It was. I wonder how much they'll commit here if they commit at all. If they just attack me for one, I'll take it. You try to cash in. It's like pretty clear. I probably have removal. But will they? Will they go for it? I hope they do. I really do. They don't. Sure. What else you have creatures to play after this you don't have a green mono there's like no real way to protect this creature if they monster rage it then sure i guess this is lightning helix in it no play with fire it themselves and prevent me from gaining life like weirdly in that positive thing it could monster trade you to do more damage but then i still gain three so in the end only does one interesting to see what they try to do here sure there's a great answer to be honest need land we're looking for find it Uncounterable. Just not reveal anything yet. Let's just play the Resplendent Angel, even though this probably reveals it alone, but. Oh no! An angel, whatever will I do? <laughs> They're like, nope, I don't have an answer. Get me out. I'm done. I don't want to play it. Ooh. Ooh. Is hand fine enough? Are we allowed to keep this yet? This hand. I'm about to stand up, lock in, dude. You know, show it off. What, what's my opponent on? Blue. Mimic. That's kind of a fortunate draw here. Let's play the forge first, in case I want to bring in this helix. This is a of blue. Aisle, you know. Angel, this one? Yeah. I get bounced, but like... Ugh. Here's Baffield. Just ninjas? Hmm. It's the only thing I can think of that would play this. You got for me, opponent. Fire more to crew. It's crew one. Crew map it if you'd like. But Giotto will be untapped, so I can immediately play my Archangel if I want. But I might just play a Forge and just have double like removal up. I guess it would only be one, right? Because of the cavern in play and Giotto not being able to tap. It is ninjas. What? What the heck? Here. Attack. Ninjutsu me, man. No? You have counter magic held up? Interesting. Sure. Yes. I'm puzzled angel by my four four i don't know yeah you can have lifelink now it's only till end of turn so there's no real stakes added in there but here's the thing right so steel Ser steel seraph is now in it's a four four 
they kind of have to remove it if they want to bounce something which then opens up the window for my archangel in which i can kick once i might even go the route here of just like double shooting their creatures now if they don't have like ninjutsu nonsense here and the reason i want to do that or maybe even just once i only have a helix kind of available sure this deck's so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be blunt their deck's so bad <laughs> like look at how much effort they're doing just to hit me with a nin ninja creature i think she's like kind of weird and awkward which is fine but like realistically their plan here is to flash this in now and tap this down and then hope it's enough they don't even tap it down but now my plan is to play the archangel i think right or should it just be this make it large and then lightning helix something probably they'll probably flash it in on my instep Cause then I can double kick this next turn and shoot two things down. What a weird, what a weird thing to happen. Yeah, I, I think I just go that route. This? I have like one life from this. Go to end step maybe. Uh, here. Or life link, man. I don't know. Shoot this down. Get it off the battlefield. I think like it flash this in. Like now I'm at 12 and they have two to four damage on board. Maybe five. Because of this. And then next turn I'm going to Archangel. Just shoot both things. Give this lifelink an attack. Sure. This deck's cool. Like, I play ninjas in commander. Like, I, I understand the lore. Like, the... What is happening? Go first, and his hand is pretty good. Get a tap land down. I get an uncounterable land down. I like it. I like his hand a lot. Me and the pretzel. Yeah, we're standing up for this game. I want to stand. Oh! Uh I'll play my land though. I got a standing that, so this is what I did everything. Oh! Oh, Cam. Right there, chat. Here, dog Cam. Alright, we're standing. We're gaming. My camera's not where I want it to be while I'm standing, but it's whatever. What the fuck is my chest going? Angel. Yada. Yeah. Uh, Hello, chat. You like the you like the standing desk? You like the dog cam? Look at this. I can I can stay I can curve out. All dog. All dog. I love dog. I guess like a weird domain list. So I'm not pumped, to say the least. Let's do combat. Let's attack here. Down to 18. Let's play land. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this as a three drop. I know I could have gave this life link. I guess. I kind of forgot that that's how that works, but it's whatever. Now, next turn, I could potentially play this Aurelia and double attack. Got nothing. Emperor is not online. Ugh. Good combat here. Let's target here. I actually enjoy Giada more. Play Vigilance. Back. I haven't seen anybody play Elspeth Smite in a while. Not playing around it. Do I go ahead and commit more to the board? And I think the answer is yes. Sure, they really can have a depopulate, but I think like presenting lethal is good enough, right? Slightly less than lethal. Yeah, I'll move. <laughs> oh. Apparently standing makes me sneeze. We already saw a farewell. What's the odds of depopulate? Mm, what's the odds that it doesn't matter? 
Our things are too big for temporary lockdown. That makes sense. Can I draw a land here? Even make it uncounterable? Angel? Play this one. Uh, we target here. We give uh, Vigilance on both. We're playing around Wandering Emperor. We attack. Down to two. Now, if it's land sunfall, then we lightning helix them. Pretty wild game not to see like. They do have to populate it. They just didn't have it. That's wild. That is crazy. Play land for challenge, lightning helix. All right, chat. Just like that. That's why we stand, you know? Sometimes you got to do that thing. I don't know how far away I can get it from my microphone before it becomes like inaudible that I leave. But, yeah, it is what it is. Let's get, let's get another game in. Pets. Dog pets. Hmm. A lot of lands. But fine hand overall. Occasions three to flip. I didn't think it was five. The only other invasion I've ever played is the blue or the Yeah, the blue black one. Here, we'll name Angel. We'll let the cat out of the bag. We'll invasion our opponents. They got for us. Oh, everything. Okay. Cut down. Not good against us at all. Missing a land. I just take the moss wood, making it more expensive. So if they do miss lands, they play a lot. They play like 27. So it's very possible that they'll have it. But I would take the take the over under on it. Play resplendent angel, unremovable right now. You play land, play another card. Keep cavern back. I'm gonna take my lightning strike. Very cool. And then our resplendent angel attacks the Gobicon. We do have the mana now, definitely to activate this. Uh, angel, next. Attack here. We're gonna make resplendent angel just grow in general. They allow it to happen. That's interesting for sure. Um. I play this for the toward cost. Yes, maybe. Actually, I think the lifelink might just be more important. I'm gonna play it just straight up. I have protection. I get a 1 1. That's a 4 4. We're pretty close. If I find like a burn spell, they missed a land too. I find a burn spell. They don't know about one card. Another deep cavern bat. Not going to be good. They have a moss wood. They cycle. They hit a land. They should, in theory. Surveil. So they're tapped out right now, currently. Need one more life. I can get it here. I can actually get it here. I'm not sure how. I'll give you some time to maybe figure it out. But the update time's up. So we bring this up. We attack. We put a counter on the Vindicator, giving it that five life that we need for the Resplendent Angel to make another 4 4 on the instep. It's gonna be absolutely devastating here. It doesn't have to hit the player. So the block on the Deep Cavern Bat makes sense just from the fact that, like, I have so much damage here. But again, we have a ton on board that they have to answer. We took their Mosswood when they were low on lands. But this is gonna make a 4 4 because it won't get the counter, but all these here are gonna get another counter off our invasion, which is gonna be devastating enough. So this is going to go all the way up to six. This is gonna be a five. We're gonna have a four, four plus this. And we're gonna play a land. I have double lightning strike ready. Not looking good for the, not looking good for the away team. That's for sure. I think I need one more game to see if I hit plat one. We'll try it. We'll try it here. Might as well. I'm I played like five games already and it's only been 27 minutes. So Let's do it. why not? When it goes first, it's probably one of the worst hands we've had. The archangels are a little bit weird because you don't really want to play them for four mana, but depending on the matchup, like they're still good at four mana. Golgari again. Let's see how this matchup actually goes. I believe we ran into Golgari back to back. I can't believe a couple of times we ran into the mirrors like back to back immediately. It's pretty wild. Oh, uh, yeah. Land here. Pass. If they play like a Glissa or something. Do they play it pre-combat? They play a deep cavern bat, which I will go ahead. 
just gain the life. Like, kind of turn off the moss wood for a turn. You can look at my hand. My hand's fine. To say the least. They probably have maybe a go for the third hand. Cut down. Not good against us, but it's the lower of the removal that they play. Cavern. So oh, weird. Play here and let's play Angel. Have the lightning strike. If you want to remove something for a turn. They bat me again. What's my answer? Do I kill the bat? Probably. I'll just remove the bat. I'll take the three here. I'm not that opposed to taking it. Because again, if they play a Glissa close combat here, I definitely want to remove it. Or a Shieldred. You know, just kind of whatever they want to play. I do not have a great way to answer a Shieldred. To be honest with you. I don't have a lot of good ways. And I keep drawing lands, so it looks like we're just gonna fall short here. <sighs> Play one, I suppose. I don't know about cavern. I've ripped two lands since. We had a land heavy hand to begin with. At four and or we had three and four. We've drawn six lands or three lands? Four lands? Five? Of them? Portland. That's hard chat. That's really hard. What about standing making my math worse? No. I can kind of counteract it while just hitting with my Archangel, I think. But if they have a removal, they have removal. No. It's the kind of the typical thing to do. Ugh. Yeah. Here, they could technically cut down it. But we don't have a choice. Can't block. They see the line to find lethal. Or force me to block. Not quite, but to get value off their cut down. I'm just going to concede. They could have brought up their restless cottage and attacked with it, and I have to use the spell. Because then I'm kind of forced to block. I guess I can flip it on upkeep, right? Yeah, because you can do it at any time. So, sure, I guess. Yeah, that's fine, too. Well. This is what it is. All right, we got Boros Angels here. I think it performed pretty well overall. I mean, realistically, I think we went 5-1. and one, Which is a good record, if I have to say so myself. We did add a couple of different things. I cut a little things like my big complaint last time was playing 27 lands. I think that's incredibly high. I understand we want to hit lands, but realistically, I felt fine on four to five lands at any given point. I think 27, you're itching to get to that seven mana area. And I don't really like that for this list, especially for how much we're going like, here's my turn two play. Here's my turn three play. Here's my turn four play. And then like after that, we just want to kind of burn them. I don't feel like we need to be able to play a five mana creature, but also lightning helix our opponent. I think like realistically our lightning helix is already gone. If they're in hand, we're probably just winning regardless or super far behind. So I end up cutting a land and adding a Elish Norn, which I think is very cool in matchups where like we do a lot of blocking duty. We can also kind of turn that into damage. It's a three, five vigilance. Um, whenever a source and opponent control deals damage to a permanent, you control us. They lose two life unless they pay one. Sacrifice three other creatures. Exile we probably wouldn't be activating that ever. I just kind of wanted a thing. Like, for example, I played against Boros a couple of times. I think last time. And I felt myself blocking a ton. And then just never finding myself getting within range or reason to actually win the game. And I think Ellis Norn can actually help us there. Where we block a ton. They're not really going to be able to pay for a whole lot. Or like... We like block. We block... We block, they take six, and then we find out, oh, we just play Aurelia plus these two flyers, and we actually win. So there's a lot of times where I think that would come up. It didn't come up today, but also don't be misled. This is actually what the curve looks like. That's also another reason that I think 27 was kind of a lot. I really think if you're playing this for six mana, it's either overkill or like your top deck mode, and you're just spending all your mana into it. Not really in a good spot regardless. I think you really want to play this for three, especially after you play a Giada. 
because playing this for three mana to make a four four or spending six mana to make a five four like a like the worst case right so it's, it's a little bit weird the three mana part of this is significantly better than the six mana payoff for this card even though it is more power and it still has that flying but it keeps it anyway it keeps the abilities so i was like that i hope you all enjoyed i had a wonderful time playing it i got to stand you guys got to see me stand you know I got to dog dog cam but i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching and goodbye